I started investing in real estate in 2020, and now I have a seven-figure real estate portfolio. My name is Yamu, that's short for Yamundao. I'm from West Africa, the Gambia. I'm a data scientist and I work for the CDC. I am a real estate investor, buy and hold investor. What that means is I buy rental properties, distressed properties, fix them up and rent them out to travel nurses, short-term rentals, Airbnb, and also regular rentals, 12 months leases, but mostly short-term rentals. I'm closing on this late house tomorrow. Follow me. Spectacular view. Whoa, look at that. Yamu bought her first rental property in 2020 with an $8,000 down payment she saved through her job. Since then, she has built a seven-figure real estate portfolio that brings in tens of thousands of dollars a month in rental income. I came to the U.S. in 2016 as a graduate student through a Mandela Washington Fellowship. I came as a presidential guest, then I got a full scholarship to study, did another master's program in computer science. 2019, I started work at CDC. 2020 COVID hit, but then I've already started looking for properties. I didn't have any money, of course. As a graduate student, graduated with no money. I had like 8,000 saved up within that couple of months that I was working. Based on my research, you, you want to use other people's money in real estate when you're starting. I was like, okay, what bank is gonna give me a loan? I have like 500, 560 something credit score, like a new student. And when I was going to school, there were so many uh, students that were looking for housing. I was like, okay, I'm gonna contact all the local banks in that area. So that's what I did. I called, I got a lot of no's, and then one bank was able to like give me the yes, and I started. First, they were like, no, we can't help you. Then I called them back. I kept pursuing, because at least they were able to listen to me. So I went ahead and presented the deal to the bank, did all my numbers, did my presentation, sent it to them. And they called me back, they were like, well, we know that, we said no and stuff, but this looks really good. So it was listed for $52,000, really cheap. That's because it needed work, but I didn't know that as a newbie. So I was like, there's no way out here. I, I only have 8,000, I put everything in it. I have to make this work. So there was no plan B. Moving forward, I never have plan B. I take the risk and I go, it has to work, it has to work. Even if it doesn't work out, because it's not always success, I always learn from it. She received COVID relief money as a landlord to cover non-paying tenants at the property and make repairs. And before long, it was profitable. It's been cash flow since 2020, fully rented for about 2,000 and some change. Hi, Francis. Hey, how are you? Good, let's go in. Yamu started a paid mentorship program where she shares what she's learned with new investors. Okay, look at this kitchen, it's beautiful, huh? <laughs> Wow, it needs a lot of work. This is a gut rehab, meaning we have to, everything has to go. Johnson is my mentee. He just flew down from uh, Texas last night. He's on a contract for this property. We started almost two, three months ago. Yeah. And we've gone through some heartbreaks. Right? <laughs> yeah. Finding this place. It was initially offered for about what, 65? Six, yeah, 65 uh, we got it for. For 57.5? 57.5. Uh, but we're looking to rent it uh, to uh, travel nurses okay. and travel nurses in the area for a single one bedroom apartment. It's like 3,000 a month. Right. So three bedroom, we could get at least a five grand. Worst case scenario, we want to do a uh, normal, normal tenant. Tenant, we'll get at least $2,000. So all under 100, yeah. 100K. I'm the last of seven. My mom died when I was like probably two or three. I don't remember her, a smile or anything, just pictures. But I do remember my dad, he passed away when I was 11, so I grew up as an orphan. My sister, elder sister, she got married and she took me and my brother. So we grew up in her husband's uh, extended family home. In the house that I grew up in, it was like uh, seven, six brothers, and they all had their wives and kids. They had their cousins in there and everything, so I grew up in that family. I went to bed at, I mean, all the way to like 15, 16 years old. I was still wet in the bed and I wasn't allowed to sleep on the bed. So I would sleep on the floor. And when I say floor, I don't mean like carpet or something, like floor, floor, because it wasn't like a, we, they, it's a poor family. I would um, get up, kill the bed bugs. And in those moments, sometimes the mosquitoes get unbearable because I have a mosquito net. So I would, um, sit down there and say one day I'm gonna have a big house and I'm gonna have 
nice many many beds and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that so I have I always like talk to God and I knew I was gonna make it now that Yamu has not just one house, but a $2 million plus real estate portfolio, she gives back through donations and gifts, including to orphans in her home country. And she recently closed on her first house for herself, her husband, and their son, a dream home in an Atlanta suburb. Let's go see the upstairs bedrooms. Yes. Yeah, upstairs your room. Let's go see your room. Ooh, yeah. that's a room, a big room. You have rooms. <laughs> it's funny that I have multiple properties, but this is my first house that I'm going to be living in. All the properties I have are rental properties. I rent it out to families. And this will be the first one, so it's exciting. Jump, 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 jump. 